bring the joy and justice, do the work, enjoy the justice. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much, Brandy. Brandy and I have known each other for many years. Okay, before we go, some of you saw that I posted this on Facebook this morning. I think it's important before we march that we consider why we are marching. We march against the demeaning and murdering of our trans brothers and sisters while law enforcement looks the other way and ridiculous and degrading laws which attack their ability to use the bathroom and play sports. We march for full equality for all, regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity. We march against conversion therapy and other so-called treatments inflicted on LGBTQ youth and the epidemic of homeless queer youth in cities, often fed by kids who flee from places like this. We march in memory of our brave brothers and sisters who came before us, including the generation we lost to HIV, and as Brandy said, in memory of our brother James. I think it's worth remembering too that it was five years ago today that a lone gunman gunned down 49 of us and injured 53 others at Pulse Nightclub in Florida. We march for them too. Congress just passed a uh, monument today. Oh really? Yes. Brandy tells me Congress just passed a monument. For the Pulse Nightclub. For Pulse. And, there are, and I heard on the radio today there are a number of celebrate not celebrations, but remembrances going on down there at the temporary uh, memorial. So, so we should remember that today. We march against so-called religious freedom laws that are nothing but an excuse to discriminate. We march for legislation which protects us from discrimination in employment, housing, and public accommodation. We march against human rights abuses against us around the globe, from kill the gays in Uganda, the sanctioned murder of us in Chechnya, and the unconscionable propaganda laws and other restrictions in Russia. We march for celebrating the progress we've made in the last 52 years, since queer and trans black and brown drag queens took off their heels and used them to fight back at Stonewall. <laughs> We march united as one against racism, transphobia, biphobia, internalized homophobia, and the other forces within our own community that tear us apart instead of bringing us together. <laughs> Lastly and most importantly, we march today, and I remind you it is a march, not a parade, to be visible, to tell our fellow citizens that we are here we are queer and all of the other things that these wonderful flags represent and we have families too. And we find joy in justice that makes us truly equal and not second class citizens of our state. Whoa! Whoa! All right, so it's time for me to introduce the flag carriers and we're gonna march down Burlington. So, uh, we switched. Uh, who's carrying the U.S. flag? Carrie, right? Carrie. We've got Carrie Zimmerman carrying the U.S. flag. We have Nicole Musinski carrying the contemporary rainbow flag. Ashley Speak carrying the transgender flag. Jesse Siffring carrying the bisexual flag. Danielle Hillegas carrying the pansexual flag. Donna Eaglefeather carrying the asexual flag. Uh, we had, uh, what's your name? Carrying the bear flag. Bond, yeah. Bond carrying the uh, bear flag. William Vito Pace IV carrying the leather flag. Carry, uh, uh, Allie Patrick carrying the queer flag. And Margaret Marsh and Lene Hall carrying the banner. So that's it, folks. It's time. Let's march! What? Oh, yeah.